Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to another recipe video. Today we're making a caffeine under eye cream with coffee butter. And oh my gosh, you guys are gonna love it. It smells just like coffee, but it's only a faint scent of coffee. It's great for dark circles, under eye bags, and puffiness. Here's the formula we're gonna be working with, and we're gonna be making a 100 gram batch. The first ingredient we're gonna need is glycerin. This is a humectant. It will help hydrate your skin, and I am using it to help hydrate the xanthan gum. I only used four grams of glycerin. This xanthan gum is being used as a thickener and stabilizing agent. It will thicken the water phase, thus helping stabilize the emulsion. And I only needed 0.2 grams of it. You don't need much of it to help stabilize your emulsion. And it will realistically only thicken your water phase a little bit unless you use it at a higher percentage. Next, I'm gonna add in some distilled water, 54.1 grams. You can use a hydrosol here, aloe vera liquid, but I'm just using distilled water. And then you want to pour the xanthan gum and glycerin mixture into your distilled water and mix until combined. Now we're working on phase B, which includes 15 grams of apricot kernel oil. You can use whatever oil you would like here. And then we're going to be adding in some coffee butter. This smells just like coffee. And I only used a small amount, so the smell isn't too overpowering, so I only used 5 grams. Then for my emulsifier, this will blend the oil and water together. I'm using Montano 68MD because water and oil don't mix, so you need some kind of um, emulsifier to blend the two. Then I'm using Cetyl Alcohol, which is an emollient that will help moisturize your skin. It will also help stabilize the emulsion, and it will help thicken the formula. And I only used 5 grams. So now, once the water and the oil phase, which is phase A and phase B, have all the ingredients needed in the beakers, what you want to do is pair your scale and see how much the water phase weighs, which this obviously will include the weight of the beaker. Write this down because we're going to heat both phase A and B up, which will cause some of the water to evaporate. So we'll have to replace that after everything's being done and heated. So grab a pan, fill it with about an inch of water, place both of your beakers in, and then place the pan on a stove top on about medium heat and let everything melt in the oil phase and you want to get the water phase around the same temperature as the oil phase. It doesn't need to be the exact temperature, just around. And we're doing this to make sure everything is melted and around the same temperature so we can blend everything together. Because if you don't heat up the water phase, then when you pour the water phase into the oil phase, it will solidify the ingredients. So that's why everything has to be heated. So now you wanna place your water phase beaker back on your scale to add back in any water that evaporated. So now pour your water phase into your oil phase and then immediately blend with an immersion blender or a high shear mixer. Then after that, you just want to let it sit to cool down and just come back periodically and mix it with your immersion blender as it cools. But as soon as it starts to thicken a little bit, you don't need to mix it anymore. And it does become quite thick after mixing it the first time. So that's awesome. It doesn't take long for it to start thickening as this is a pretty thick cream. So once it's cooled to under 100 degrees Fahrenheit, we can add in the cool down ingredients, which is also phase C. And I'm going to start with four grams of glycerin again, because I need this to help hydrate the hyaluronic acid. This ultra low molecular weight hyaluronic acid is in power form. So in order to get it to disperse in water, you want to mix it with glycerin first so it doesn't clump up. Hyaluronic acid is an amazing humectant that will help hydrate your skin. And you only need a small amount of it, so I only used 0.5% of it. So I added it into the glycerin and mixed it in. Now we're adding in caffeine extract. This can help tighten and brighten your under eyes, and obviously it goes perfect with the whole coffee theme. So I added in 2 grams of it into the glycerin and hyaluronic acid mixture. Then for the preservative, this one's EcoCert, it's Uxal K903, and I am going to be using this at 1.2%, which means I need 1.2 grams. So I just added that in with everything else and mixed it in. Then lastly, I'm going to add in Regu Age PF. I got this from LotionCrafter.com, and this can help reduce dark circles and puffiness around the eyes. So mix all of those ingredients together, and then you can pour them into your moisturizer. Then you want to blend everything together, of course, and now it's time to check and adjust the pH. So I always grab a 25 milliliter beaker, add in a very small amount of my cream, place in my pH meter, and the natural pH 
is right around 4.57. But we need a pH somewhere between 5 to 5.5. If you check the formulating guidelines for Regu AHPF, it says it's active in a pH between 5 and 8. But our skin's natural pH is between 4.5 and 5.5, so that's why I recommend going for a pH between 5 to 5.5 for this under eye cream. So in order to do this, we need to raise the pH. So I'm going to be using a solution of 10% sodium hydroxide dissolved in 90% distilled water. And I only used six drops and I added six drops into my moisturizer and mixed it in and then waited a minute and took the pH again, which brought it up to 5.4. If you want a full tutorial on how to check balance and adjust pH, which includes how to raise it and lower it, then go watch my video. I will link it down below. So once the pH is adjusted, you can cover your beaker and let it sit overnight. You want to let it sit overnight so it can fully solidify and become the viscosity that it will be in the end. <laughs> I don't know why I worded that weird, but it takes a little bit for the full viscosity to viscosify. <laughs> Anyways, I'm just sitting here jarring up the eye creams as you can see, and this filled up two one ounce jars perfectly. Um, I will link down below to the jars I used as well. And I just think this is the perfect texture for an eye cream. I really like thick under eye creams and I'm totally down with like a cream that might take a little bit longer to rub into the skin than like a face moisturizer or body moisturizer when it comes to under eyes. But this one rubs in pretty quickly, but I always do like a thick under eye cream and that's exactly what this is. So what I like to do is just kind of dab some dots around my eyes. I'll even do it on my eyelid as well, you know, when I don't have eye makeup on. And then I just like to gently pat it into the skin. Sometimes I will like rub up, but um, never rub down, just rub up. And then after that, you just want to follow with a moisturizer. And yeah, that's about it for today's video. I also have lots of moisturizer formulas on my channel too if you want to make a moisturizer to go with this. So check all those videos out. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this formula. Let me know what other formulas you guys would like to see in the future and I'll talk to you next time. Later.